What? Oh, you want to have a finished face and body? <laughs> She's getting demanding, isn't she? <laughs> Anyways, hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Cassie and you are watching The Victorian Thimble. Today we're finishing Wilhelmina Mouse and I'm going to teach you how I embroider a nose. Let's get started. I want to do a quick recap before we get started just in case you're joining in on week number four. This has been a four-part sewing series on making Wilhelmina Woodmouse who is part of the Making Luna Lap and Friends series. So if you wanted to catch up or just go back and watch the other parts, week number one is up here, week number two, click here, week number three, which you can watch here. So this week, what we're doing for part number four is we're doing the five parts to finish off Wilhelmina Woodmouse. The five parts that we are doing are, number one, we are finishing the arms and attaching them to the body. Number two, we're going to attach the head to the body. Number three, we're going to sew the button eyes onto the face. Number four, we're going to trim the whiskers and the eyebrows. And then finally, number five, I'm going to show you how to embroider the mouse's nose. All right, so now we're going to get started. All right, everyone, just a quick pause before we go on to the next thing, and that is I want to take a poll. I can't do polls yet on my channel because my channel's not big enough, but that doesn't mean we can't work around it. So what I want to do is take a poll, and you can put your comments below, and I'll tally up the results myself. The poll is for what would you like to make next? Would you like to make Raynard Fox, or would you like to make Clementine Cat? For each of these animals, I've got this nice white felt that I got for the accent fabrics. Special thanks to my viewer, all of them, for suggesting to me that I explore different weights of felt. You are absolutely correct. There's lots of good quality felt out there to be found. You just got to go a little further than your local dollar craft store section. But thank you. This is really awesome. But guys, put your vote down below. What would you like to see made next? Raynard Fox or Clementine Cat? I can't wait to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you hear about the next Luna Lappin project that's coming out. Thanks guys, now let's get back to our project. Now we're gonna start with the arms. Pin the arms together and we're going to stitch all the way around, leaving an opening at the back to stuff, but otherwise we're going to stitch all the way around here. Once you've stitched it, we go back and do the short, tight zigzag as well. I'll show you when it's done. I'll be back. Sometimes viewers have asked me what stitch length I'm using. So when I do the straight stitch, I just use the pre-assigned stitch length for a straight stitch. Um, they have it at 2.5. When I'm doing the zigzag stitch on this particular machine, it's stitch number four is the zigzag. And I leave the width at 3.5, but the stitch length, I bring that down to 1.0. And that's where I set my machine to do the zigzagging that goes around the edge of the arms and legs. Now that you have your little arms sewn like this, they're a little wrinkly looking, but they'll be okay. Um, all that we're gonna do is trim the threads and then we're gonna stuff it with stuffing and then back over to the machine to stitch it closed. Okay, so I have this little arm sewn and stuffed. And you can see I have it pinned here where I have to stitch it shut. When you're going to push this through the machine, what you're going to want to be doing is pressing really hard like this to get the, the stuffing out of the way so that you can get your stitching straight as well. But it is turning out cute. It looks like an arm. So after I've stuffed the other one, we're going to stitch these closed. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna show you what we're using to attach the head to the body. So we have our body, we have some arms, and we have the mouse head. We're going to be attaching this mouse head onto the body and stitching it down. You can pick these up at almost any sort of crafting store or dollar store, a package of upholstery needles. If you need this little guy in here, but you got a nice long heavy duty, heavy duty needle like that and you can push it through those body parts to get those little arms attached and you're going to find that works much better for you than a regular sewing needle. I highly recommend investing in a package of upholstery needles. All right, let's attach that head. And then you want to take a thimble and then we got here is little Miss Wilhelmina Woodmouse's head. She's excited, she's about to become real. And then using this opening, you're just gonna fit it on top of the triangle body like this. You're just gonna start to work it in there, press it down hard. And then if you want, you can just secure it with one or two pins. So here's a little tip for the hand sewing. When you measure your thread, do the distance of your arm to your elbow, maybe just slightly past. In this case, I'm actually gonna double this up to make it stronger for the project. So I've doubled the length of my thread. And then before we stitch with it, you wanna run it through some wax. Why? Because it's going to help it to not get all tangled up. It's just gonna bring some stability to the sewing that you're doing and it's gonna give you a lot less frustration. Definitely worth just taking the time, drag your thread through the wax, and then you're ready to stitch. I just wanted to give you guys a little demonstration here and show you just how far I'm coming out on either side of the fabric line when I'm doing this stitching. Hopefully you can see that there. Here's the fabric line here, right? And then I'm all the way over here going in and there coming out. For the second round, I switched to a smaller, more ordinary sewing needle. And I'm just going around and taking bits of fabric to pull the mouse's head down tighter onto the body. Here she is, everyone. Her head is attached. next part that we're doing is this here guys you can see the directions show you to pin the arms into place in a position that you're satisfied with and then we're gonna put the buttons on top and stitch through using that big long needle when you're pinning the mouse's arms into place it's the same directions as for Luna do you see how the arms are lined up to the side seam going down each front do you see that and then you tuck it up until it's right where your next stitching is. And then you're just gonna wanna make sure that's pretty balanced on either side. And now roughly where you have your pins, this is where we get out the buttons. Remember I had my buttons sorted out in advance here, right? So now the two smaller buttons are for the eyes, the two bigger buttons are for the shoulders. We're attaching the shoulders and the arms now. The first thing I'm gonna do before we attach the buttons, we can use the black thread because it's gonna be hidden by the buttons. We're just gonna go in right around the centered area of her little arm. We need a thimble. And press, 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 press. And then when you're gonna be coming out the other side, you wanna be watching for where is it gonna come out Wrong spot, back it up and redirect your needle, push again, almost. Look at that, look how close we're getting, right? Back your needle out again, straighten it up, push again. Keep trying until you get it through where you need it to be. Oh, look, I'm pretty happy with that. That I'm gonna back it up just a little more, but this is so close to where I want it to be. This is great. There we go. All right, I got that up at that pin spot. So before I pull my pins out, I am just gonna pull this through. All right. And here we have the start. And then we're just gonna go back through one more time. And then we're gonna add our buttons.
And I just want to show you I'm burying the knot from attaching the arms inside the fold of the back of the arm. And now, remember where we have the markings for the eyes? We're going to take the next set of buttons and we're going to attach the eyes in pretty near the same fashion as we did the arm. So first you do a pass through to secure your knot. Then you hold your buttons in place and stitch it through. You add a little tension so there's a slight pinch to the face, just like we have here with Miss Luna. You see how the eyes go slightly and there's a little bit of a push, right? So we're gonna be adding the eyes next and then it's onto the whiskers and the nose. All right, guys, I just wanna show you what I'm doing here. So here's the mouse, what I've done. I have the pin straight through and when I position the eyes, you know, kind of where I want the holes to go and give it a slight press for that pressure when we sew, I think I'm seeing fairly equal eye positioning. I'm happy with this. And I just want to show you guys to knot it off. What I actually do is I squeeze the eye out like this and pull it through making a knot. Now the next and last step is to embroider the nose on Wilhelmina Mouse and then trim her whiskers. So the embroidery is such a small part but because it's center front on the face, if you don't do a good job on it, it can really take away from that finesse and that finished look on the project. We are actually gonna start the nose down here underneath it, and we're gonna bring it down into a point like that. This is one of those times, guys, where these um, fabric heat erasable fabric pens I have are so fantastic because I can draw on this and not even worry about um, it coming out. So you can see I have drawn the nose into place and you can see that um, up here, at this area here, I did draw it a little out of whack, but that's okay. I think you can see pretty clearly the lines that I have drawn. First, we're gonna fill this in with pink and then we're gonna add some brown edging that goes down either side like that. This stuff is already braided but honestly, for the purpose of the nose, I think this is quite perfect. So you're just gonna wanna cut a piece of thread, you know, about so long. Um, I just have a more regular needle. It is a pretty heavy duty one, like it's pretty thick. So when we're stitching an embroidery, the type of stitch, we're gonna do two stitches. One of them is like this twirling travel stitch to go down the sides of the nose with the brown. But for this, honestly, we're just methodically going around and around, having those threads pretty much touching side by side. You're gonna want a thimble handy as well. Another thing, guys, with embroidery is you don't really make knots. I love making knots and stuff, but it's kind of a no-no with embroidery because that knot's gonna ultimately show through on your work somewhere. So in embroidery, what we do is we leave a tail. So you're gonna take your needle, and you're gonna go in at that topmost point there. So once again, I'm just showing you, she's got a nose piercing right now, but do you see how I've got it? I'm, I'm ignoring where the marker went off, but that is coming out right at the top of the nose on each side. So here's what we're gonna do. And that's probably the hardest part, guys, is getting this thing started. Now from here, all that you're going to do is you're gonna take your thread and you're gonna go right back in on or beside there, all right? So probably what I am gonna do here is I'm gonna get this, so it's going on just the other side of that thread on the nose. Now I just wanna show you again that I have, we've had the first stitch through, we have this tail piece, right? So I've got it through again, and just to try and show you, it's gone in right beside that first thread and then over here you see it's coming out right on top of that first thread so when we pull that through what you're going to want to do keep this little piece to one side 
and you're just gonna gently, gently pull that down. Don't make it too tight, all right? And there you have your first stitch on the nose. Now what you're gonna do, each passing stitch, you're literally gonna be laying it down like this right beside the next one. So we're gonna stitch and it's gonna come back through like that again. And then it's gonna do it again until we have a perfect little coil down this itty bitty nose. When you have the nose sewn on and you're at the end here, what I did was I simply pulled the thread through to the end of the nose, which we are now going to cut off with a pair of scissors. Now we just have to add the brown accent and then trim these whiskers. So all that you wanna do when you're doing your stitching, you're going to come up from the bottom on the back you're gonna to wanna to leave a little tail again, right? Leave yourself a tail. And then in here, this is, it's just like doing a back stitch, but you're looping the thread at the bottom. Watch this, you're gonna go in here like this, and then you're gonna come back up halfway like this. So do you see that? You're gonna pull that through like this. And you see how your loop of thread is coming up from the bottom like that? And so there is stitch number one done. Now here's how we travel. You're gonna pull that thread down like that again. Then you're going to take your needle. You're gonna go in as if you're doing a back stitch. Come back up beside the other one. Just pull that up again and tighten it out. And do you see how already you've got a little bit of a twirl happening? So you're going to do it again. And here she is, guys. And here she is. The only thing left to do now is we're just gonna trim down these whiskers to a better size. I'm just using my small little thread snip scissors here. And basically, guys, we just want these to be a better length that looks more appropriate for a mouse. But there we have the eyebrows are trimmed and now the same idea for the whiskers. I think we're gonna play hairdresser here. I think this looks good now. Miss Wilhelmina Woodmouse.